Hello everyone, welcome to my review of The Great Mouse Detective in 1986 and it's the 26th uh, Disney animated feature film. <clears throat> you know, this has got various directors, um, some being uh, John Musker, Ron Clements, and um, basically, <clears throat> you know, this film, um, it's based on, you know, Sherlock Holmes kind of thing, um, these short stories that were made. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's, it's Disney take on that kind of thing, and uh, yes, they are mice, uh, the main characters in the film, <clears throat> you know, and um, yeah, basically, um, Nothing too much to say about this one. I watched it tonight, <clears throat> you know, for the first time actually, you know, this is the one that I, I thought, you know, I thought I'd seen it before. Um, maybe I've seen bits of it as a kid, but um, actually, no, I've not seen it all the way through. So it's another one of the, uh, you know, the, the rare ones of last century that I haven't, you know, I've never actually seen. Um, and this is, <clears throat> of course, uh, a year after The Black Cauldron, which of course is, uh, you know, one of the least popular Disney films. And uh, yeah, basically it's part of the Dark Age, um, one of the last films in the Dark Age. And um, yeah, it's you know done better at the box office um, than Black Cauldron, of course. Um, you know, somewhat of a you know, critical success um, compared to a lot of the Dark Age movies. But yeah, basically, you know, nothing too much to speak of here. You know, I watched it tonight and, you know, I, I didn't like it. Um, we'll get out of the way, you know, I didn't like this film. Um, you know, and I really like the whole Sherlock Holmes stories and everything, the potential of what films can do. Uh, but basically, you know, this one is not not that good um, at all. You know, it's under average for me, and um, it's a shame. You know, because it, it started off um, first fifteen minutes or so. It started off average. You know, it was never anything that I really cared for too much. Um, but I could have given it a like. Um, you know, it would have been um, maybe you know around sixty percent mark. You know, but it gradually got worse and worse over the film. The ending five minutes was, you know, again it was decent, but. Overall, this film, you know, is very, very short, and you know, it kind of, um, it's it's hard to, to kind of make a film times at times when it's really, really short, you know, seventy minutes or something, you know. But it has been done, of course, uh, many times, perfectly with Disney. Um, but in this one, it suffers from that, you know, in, in a way, because you know, you don't really get much time to for the characters to to develop um, as well. It is overall very generic and bland. Um, you know, the character of Basil is <coughs> basically based off. Sherlock Holmes is this mouse uh, detective, and um, as well, you know, he's, he's, he's basically his partner in this film is Dawkins, um, Dawson, sorry, um, and yeah, basically, you know, they find this eight-year-old mouse as well, um, very early on, who's separated from her father, and um, Rattigan, you know, is the, is the villain of the film, and he's basically this rat, and um, he takes, you know, he's the villain that's behind all this, and yeah, you know, um, her father goes missing in the opening scene, um, which wasn't that good um, for me, really. Um, you know, it was fine, um, but yeah, basically, she joins up with them, um, Dawson and, you know, um, of course, Basil, and um, shortly after that, you know, after the 25 minute mark, she goes missing, and uh, the rest of the film is basically them trying to get her back and solve this, you know, take down this villain um, of Rattigan, and um, yeah, it's it's, um, it's a mediocre film for me, you know, I think, uh, you know, it has many, many issues, um, and just um, for me, you know, overall, I think it's very, very generic. Um, it's not a film that I really um, it was compelled by the narrative really at all that much. You know, after the 25 minute mark, you know, it just lost its steam definitely. And you know, there was boring moments, um, including one of the songs with the villain. Um, just not good for me. You know, this is the 26th uh, Disney film. You know, of course, um, Disney was suffering um, during this uh, dark age, of course. Um, and you know, this is just another one for me that's just not that good. Um, you know, it's better than the Aristocrats uh, for me, but you know, still, it's a mediocre film. It's it's not a film that I hate. Um, it's just I didn't like it really overall. <clears throat> you know, I think uh, the characters just are not that good. Um, there's not really much uh, in the way of character development throughout this film. Um, I never really got you know rooted for these characters at all. Um, the voice acting was fine at times. Other times, <clears throat> you know, quite bad. Um, the animations, you know, you know the. the a lot of the Dark Age, you know, can can kind of be summed up as well from um, the animation. You know, I can see the Dark Age can also refer to the actual, you know, the, the dullness of the animation, kind of how flat it is at times. Um, it seems like there's not much put effort put into compared to, you know, other Disney eras um, in terms of the animation. Um, you know, and this was kind of shown a little bit um, with the Sword and the Stone, but really, you know, still, uh, you know, better, far better than a lot of the Dark Age ones. Um, Jungle Book, of course, brimming with life, you know, an absolutely stunning piece of animation, a stunning film, and then, you know, you've got the Aristocats and all, you know, quite a lot of uh, films, you know, 70s and the 80s, where this was the Dark Age, and, you know, the animation just wasn't anything 
you know, special in, in these films a lot. And, you know, in this one, um, it's it's pretty average actually. At times, it's not good. You know, there's this clock tower scene, you know, towards the end, um, and I'm not going to ruin what happens there or you know give any hints. But yeah, basically, the animation there it is bad for me. Um, you know, it's just it's just very very lifeless and basic and cheap. You know, it just doesn't actually you know feel alive. You know, this, this doesn't really feel like a whole world. You know, and it's it's a shame. Um, this is based on Sherlock Holmes. You know, it could have been a lot better. Um, you know, London and everything, um, but it weren't. You know, it could have um, could have done with much more. You know, sophisticated world building, um, better animation, and um, just better writing. Really, you know, the voice acting was fine to kind of um, if this film had better written characters. You know, it just uh, it just moves. You know, a very um, it just kind of slogs through, and it just doesn't. You know, most of the time it's not it's not bad. You know, it's not something. You know, it has its charms. I will say that. You know, and partly, be, you know, the first twenty five minutes, why I was kind of I would have given it like is because it is, you know, it's kind of human in places. Um, it has got its charm. You know, it's got its, its little moments. You know, little touching moments um, involving that. You know, eight year old mouse. Um, you know, and what was set up there. You know, I was a bit compelled, in a way. You know, but the rest of the film, you know, it lost its steam. Um, basically, when she went out of it, and they were just left. You know these two characters, <clears throat> including of course Basil as the protagonist, to kind of rescue her. And it was just, it was boring <clears throat> for the most part, and you know it didn't really have an adventure feel. It had its charms here and there, and it wasn't bad, <clears throat> you know. But um, just very very underwhelming, uh, under par, <clears throat> you know, m mostly of this film. And um, yeah, you know, just the character, the protagonist of uh, Basil, you know, could have been a lot better. Um, you know, if this is kind of. Of course, as it is based off Sherlock Holmes, probably one of the worst um, kind of interpretations of that I've ever seen. And, you know, it's just a shame because it's, it's quite easy to make an animated film, <clears throat> you know. To make it a decent animated film, and for me, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it is on the par, you know, it is, it is mediocre for me, <clears throat> you know, and it's, it's not quite into that weak mark, um, purely because the beginning 25 minutes and the end in 5 minutes of this 72 minutes uh, film, you know, was was decent, <clears throat> you know, and it had um, a couple of moments here and there, you know, it was quite, uh, it was quite nice, but really overall, you know, the villain, you know, is quite annoying, and his side villain, you know, is just unbearable, and generally, you know, it just didn't uh, compel me, really, you know, overall, um, as a narrative, <clears throat> you know, as a piece of animation, it just didn't, didn't really um, grab me, and I wasn't really that invested, um, but I was, you know, invested a couple of moments, and I did I did enjoy some bits here and there, and the beginning, definitely the beginning segments, you know, it was quite good. So I can't quite, you know, say it's it's a weak film, you know, it is a bit above that. Um, and overall, I think I'd have to give it, you know, it's, it's it's hard for me to decide sometimes with this, you know, when it's kind of in the middle of me liking it and disliking it, because, you know, I don't actively dislike this, you know, I if I had to say if I liked it or disliked it, you know, I would say disliked it, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't give it a like. Um, but, you know, it's kind of in between there, it's kind of just, yeah, you know, that's what mediocre is, obviously. Um, so I'd have to give it a 52%, you know, I think um, that's what I'd give it, that's what I'd stick to. And um, just, um, it is underwhelming for me, and um, it could have been a lot better. You know, the score as well for this film wasn't that good. And uh, basically, you know, the songs as well, you know, they weren't that good, you know. Not horrendous, but, but not, uh, nothing really, and um, just overall... You know, it had its charms and it had its, you know, segments, mainly in the beginning, that was decent, but really overall, it was quite lifeless a lot of the time. You know, it didn't have the energy um, that was required. It didn't really have any interesting characters. It had some, you know, charming moments and maybe the, the character Dawson, um, you know, was was overall, you know, fine. Um, but, you know, uh, Basil was not good in this film and, um, you know, most of the other characters weren't. You know, weak villain overall for me, you know, at times it was quite annoying. Um, and yeah, it just never really, I can't really believe, you know, <clears throat> despite, you know, me giving it, a, you know, 52 and saying it's not bad, you know, it, it isn't really, it really isn't good storytelling, you know, and the fact that, you know, I watched this film and at the end I just thought, is that it? You know, it's one of them films where, you know, it just doesn't really accomplish anything too significant. Um, and it's just kind of, what actually happened, you know, really after the first 25 minutes, not much uh, for me, that's what I'd say. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a bit of a bore fest, really, for me. And, yeah, not one I liked. <clears throat> you know, it's one of the worst, you know, probably in the worst um, 15 Disneys, you know, that I've 
I can imagine, you know, basically out of the 56, you know, it's going to be in the bottom numbers, um, you know, for me when I do my ranking, but, you know, it's not, it's not the worst and it's not, you know, bad film, you know, but it's just, you know, it is, it is mediocre for me. Uh, just, I wasn't really um, fully invested throughout this and it was quite boring and, um, yeah, it's, again, very underwhelming animation for me. Again, very, very dull animation and, um, it doesn't have that magic, you know, that wonder really at all. That like the, a lot of the ones before this, you know, era, Dark Age era, you know, just think back to Snow White and stuff like that. It's just, and even Dumbo, you know, I reviewed that recently. Um, no comparison for me, you know, it doesn't seem like the effort was put in at all. In comparison, you know, to, to in this era, you know, Dark Age and, um, you know, the Dark Age and the post Renaissance, you know, then the two of them aren't, aren't great at all, but. Yeah, you know, this and the Aristocats I've reviewed recently, you know, from the Dark Age, and um, I didn't like either of them, um, and we've not even got to probably the worst ones. Um, the Black Cauldron, you know, I have, I think I have seen it, or at least a lot of it, um, when I was younger, but I can't really remember any of it. Yeah, and I am holding out for that to probably be the worst of the era, so um, I'll review that at some point, but yeah, <clears throat> thanks for watching my review. Oh, the Grace Ma Great Mouse Detective, you know, I nearly forgot the name of it there, you know, that's how forgettable, <clears throat> you know, this film is uh, for me, a very, very forgettable film, um, you know, 1986. The Renaissance was obviously, you know, fairly shortly after this, basically, but um, yeah, it's just another one um, that I didn't care for, really, but, you know, not a bad film, and, you know, fine if you like it, of course, um, but not for me, really. Um, so thanks for watching my review.